Welcome back. The big day is almost upon us and you can already see how much extra packaging is clogging up your home. Here to show us what we can and can't put in our green bin this morning is Elaine Phillips from Repack. Good morning to you, Elaine. Thanks morning, for joining Laura. us. It's a tricky time of year because I suppose we're more conscious than ever that we have a lot of extra baggage at home, as it were, and are we putting it in the right bins? Where do we compare in terms of our European counterparts with our recycling and, and I suppose, saving and waste? Well, we're actually very good as a nation at recycling and we excel at some of the particular materials. The one material we really need to get better at recycling is plastic. So I'll talk to you a little bit today about how you can do that. Um, just to explain to your viewers what Repack is all about, we're an environmental not-for-profit organisation with a social mission. We were set up 22 years ago and we were set up to enable businesses which place all of this packaging on the market to meet their obligations to recycle the packaging. So we have close to three and a half thousand members. They all pay fees and all of those fees go to pay towards the household recycling bins that we all have, civic amenities and bottle banks all over Ireland. And we also run initiatives to help our members to reduce pl plastic packaging waste and to help consumers to recycle better. So at this time of year, let's say for this three month period, do um, we have an awful lot more waste than we would at other points in the year? We do. We do, yes. This year we're predicting um, 75,000 tonnes of waste over the Christmas period. We would normally see around a 10% increase over Christmas. We see a huge um, increase, particularly in cardboard, which we would say is a lot of that is down to online shopping, um, a large increase also in glass. So it's really important. We're, we're calling out to everybody to make an effort to do three things. Firstly, to reduce. So mm -hmm. look at what you're buying, do you need it, and whether it's recyclable or not. Secondly, to reuse. So there are lots of items you can see here, like gift bags and gift tins, but you can actually reuse those. So think about doing that first. And thirdly, then, recycle. So we're asking people to recycle better and to recycle more. And on that note, you're going to give us some great tips now. So we're going to start with the plastics and what we can and can't put in the bins, because I think many of us would be standing over the bins sometimes going, oh, where does this go? And it's sort of, you have to think about it for a couple of minutes. It should be automatic, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it should. And plastics are probably the, the material that people are most confused about. So at the moment, you can only put rigid plastics in your recycling bin. These are soft plastics, your plastic bag, your plastic packaging. They have to go in the general waste, so you can currently put those in the recycling okay. bin. There is a huge range of plastic material that can go in your recycling bin. And what we're asking people to do is to think beyond the, the normal items that maybe, you know, there are other items in your mm -hmm. home that you can recycle. We have very ambitious plastic recycling targets that we have to hit. Um, if you take glass, for example, we're at 86% against an EU target of 60%. Yeah. But with plastic recycling, the EU target's 22 and a half. We're only at 33%. And a lot of people, I think, just don't think of those items that are outside of the kitchen. So when we're recycling these plastics, uh, presumably we need to uh, make sure that all of the liquid is out of them, uh, yes. all of the ingredients are gone. Do we then need to wash them, uh, rinse them, dry them, and then keep the lid on or off? Yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly it. So um, what we say to people to remember as regards how to recycle is clean, dry and loose. Now, the go-to resource for recycling in Ireland is mywaste.ie. That's the government-run website. It was formerly known as Recycling List Ireland. So that's where all of this information is. So that what you can recycle is your cardboard and paper, your metals and your plastic. The how then is clean, dry and loose. Now, there's a perfect logic for that. Clean and dry... If you imagine all of these items here will have either liquid or food in them. If you place those in your bin wet or with food, they're going to contaminate everything mm -hmm. over here and you'll have soggy paper, wet cardboard and potentially mould. That's really important. But we don't want people to waste water. So in your kitchen, you should use water you already have in your sink or in a basin, mm -hmm. Give things a quick rinse, leave them to dry. When they're dry, pop them in the bin. OK, what about some of the trickier items? Well, in your bathroom, I suppose an mm. important point to note, people ask us this question. Your, your, the likes of your detergents and your shampoos, we're not asking people to rinse those out. So what you should do with those is just empty them and put the lids back on. Always put the lids back on your plastic bottles after you've squashed them and that'll get you more space in the bin. And I suppose as regards, um, with the rigid plastics, they aren't particularly tricky items and that they're straightforward enough. But remember things like tubs mm. that can go in and things like your um, plastic containers from salads them, yeah. and all of those. Yeah. Just think beyond maybe the items you're normally 
recycling. So if we're being more mindful of recycling this Christmas, how can we do better ourselves when we're buying? Because I read somewhere that if uh, most wrapping paper is actually not recyclable, you think it is. But if you crunch it up, there's a test you can do, isn't there? There is, yeah. And I have some samples over here. Oh, go on. Um, so these are samples of, this is a paper-based um, okay. wrapping paper. And this is one that is, obviously it has paper, but it also has metal. So there are two ways you can test it. You can scrunch it. And if it stays in a ball, it's paper. And you can also tear paper. Okay. You don't need a scissors. If it's metallic, you're not going to be able to tear it with your fingers. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to cut it. And when you scrunch it up, it pops straight back out. This can go in your recycling bin. This can't. That needs to go in your general waste. Okay. That's a very easy and quick decision you can make when you're grabbing you know, your, your roll of wrapping paper at the till. It's one or the other. Just pick the one that you can recycle. And also because the waste is going to be easier for you to manage on Christmas morning. Exactly. And you can normally okay. tell because it's not super shiny. OK. Um, that's normally the way you can tell. So final tips for people then recycling this Christmas and moving onwards. Yeah, it's to remember all of those items that you may not think of. So on the metals, whilst the obvious ones are the cans and the tins, Think about your tin foil, if it's clean, scrunch it up in a ball. It can be detected as metal in the recycling facility. When I mentioned clean, dry and loose, I didn't get to the loose part. That's don't put things in plastic bags. Because when they go to the recycling facility, they need to move through that facility loosely, so they're all picked up. Also, plastic bags are not recyclable. It's um, a really we, good tip. Yeah, they need to go in the general way. So it's just to think of how the whole process works, really. And also, if you have boxes that have plastic in them, mm. take that plastic out. It's not going to come out by itself in the recycling facility. So that goes then with your plastic. Just put them loosely in the bin. We have a lot of tips ourselves um, available to people. So while I encourage people to go to mywaste.ie, we also have an initiative called Team Green. So Team Green was set up to get people to come together to look at how they can reduce waste uh, recycle better and protect the environment. And we have some campaigns running over the next few weeks and some tips around Christmas on all our social media channels. So you can sign up to Team Green and find out more about recycling from Meatback. Elaine, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Pleasure having Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely Christmas. Thank you. Now, still to come, an alternative to your traditional turkey in the kitchen. We're roasting a Christmas goose. And Mickey Joe Hart's released a Christmas single all in aid of the homeless. He'll be joining us later this morning. See you in three.